Hello my lovely little artists. It is once again time to draw together. Today I'm going to be drawing Frederick the Field Mouse. I want you to start with a pencil. You should start with a pencil. That way if you make a mistake you can erase it. I however have practiced this drawing before so I'm going to use a marker so that it shows up better in the video. You should use a pencil, but I'm going to use a marker so that you can see what I'm doing better. Okay. So, on my paper, I'm going to draw Frederick the Field Mouse, and I'm going to draw him kind of over here. I'm going to leave a bunch of extra space up here because I want to give him a little thought bubble that he's dreaming something up. So, for the mouse, let's start with an egg shape. This is going to be kind of like an oval, but it's smaller at the top than it is at the bottom. Remember, you can always pause the video if you need time to catch up. Next, I'm going to put some ears on Frederick. These are just big round bumps. You'll want to make them um, pretty wide because if you make them too skinny, they might look like rabbit ears. For the mouse's face, I'm going to draw two circles. And for his pupils, I'm going to do two smaller circles. To finish off his face, I'm going to give him a round little button nose and a curve for a smile. Let's finish off the mouse's body with a tail. I'm going to make mine curl up this way. If you want it to go a different way, it is totally up to you. So I'm going to draw a curve, but I'm not just going to leave it as one line. I'm going to add another one right next to it that gets smaller and smaller. It kind of follows it like a path until it meets at the end. Now that I've drawn Frederick, I can draw that um, thought bubble. So I'm going to draw some little circles that lead up to a big bumpy cloud. Now you can draw whatever you like in this space that's school appropriate. However, I have a plan of what I would like to draw. Your drawing does not have to be the same as mine in here. You can make up your own thing that you think Frederick would like to think about. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play around with some colors. I think I'm going to do this cool thing where I can overlap my colors with the primary colors to make the rest of the colors of the rainbow. It'll be super cool. Now that my drawing's done, I can color it in. Field mice are usually brown, but in the book they were gray, so I'm going to leave that up to you. Use what colors you have available to you. If all you have is your pencil, then you can totally just shade him in gray with your pencil. No big deal. If you're not sure yet what you want Frederick to be thinking about, think about what makes you happy. In our book, Frederick was thinking about things that could get him and his friends through the winter. 
by making them a little bit happier when they were having a rough time. What are some things that make you happy? Especially when you've had a bad day or you're going through a rough time. Maybe it's your favorite food. Maybe it's a friend of yours or a certain toy or game you enjoy. It's up to you. Colors definitely make me happy. And with that, I am done. Thank you for drawing Frederick with me.